Well, the year started very well. We have very strong financial results, much better than last quarter, and also better than the same quarter last year. And I'm happy that we've welcomed another 350,000 new customers to ING just in this quarter. Now, it's not all good in the market. We've seen low interest rates giving pressure on savings rates for banks. But despite that pressure, customers have placed more than 13 billion of savings with ING. And on the back of that, we have been able to extend 6 billion of additional loans into the economies in which we operate. So I think that concludes a very strong quarter. One of the examples of a transaction that we did this quarter uh, that I wanted to mention specifically is the investment that we made in a company called Van Scherpenzeel. Now Van Scherpenzeel is a Dutch company devoted to the development of the circular economy. They basically focus on changing the model from take, make and uh, dispose to the model of reuse, reduce and recycle. Now, on that subject, the circular economy, our economics department will also publish a report later this week. Now, with both examples, the investment as well as the report, we show how serious we are about supporting the sustainability of the economies uh, in which we are active. Well, the last quarters have given many examples as part of our Think Forward strategy of innovation and new services for our retail customers. But this quarter I would like to mention an initiative that we've been working on on the corporate customer side of the business. That example is called Inside Business Portal. Now the Inside Business Portal that we've tested successfully will give a single point of access to our corporate customers and will give information, real-time information, on payments and cash management, on trade, finance, as well as lending. But we also launch a new innovation bootcamp. And that bootcamp, actually, through that bootcamp, we asked all of our employees to come up with new ideas. And we got 1,800 new ideas from our employees. First, that shows that our employees are truly serious about delivering the Think Forward strategy. But it also gives beautiful ideas of how we can actually deliver the Think Forward strategy. Clearly we can't support all 1800 ideas, so the next couple of months we will be working on the selection of these ideas as to the feasibility, whether they truly fit the stra strategy and also the business case. But a couple of new products will certainly come out of this. In the first quarter we saw the European economy is doing rather well. And we see positive momentum coming back in Europe. Well, firstly that's because of the low oil prices. They stimulate purchasing power and consumer confidence. We've seen consumer spending increase 3% versus last year. Secondly, we see that the quantitative easing having its effect also on the real economy. So at first it was in the financial markets, now it's in the real economy with a weaker euro and a lower interest rate. Now that's in itself is already boosting the economy. So all in all, we see momentum on all angles for a sustainable growth going forward. Now the real test for sustainability is also in the coming months. Because there's still some certain uncertainties around, for example, Greece. And that will determine whether the recovery for the European uh, economies will be really sustainable. But for now we expect European economies to grow at 1.5% for this year.